Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is the 30th of August, 2023. Here to talk about Neo today because, as you guys can see on the screen right now, Neo stock fell after losses widen and revenue falls more than what analysts forecast. As always, it may be what 10, 12, 13, maybe 20 analysts who cover Neo and they're trying to plaster this on the internet to make it seem as if the market is just completely completely oblivious to the fact that yeah the, the losses may be terrible but maybe the analyst forecast was terrible maybe they expected too much out of neo than what they should have see understand that this also works both ways we have the analysts and then we have the actual business who reports earnings what if the analysts get their estimates wrong what if their forecast is completely off track and people follow their forecasts to think that it can never be incorrect. I understand they do a whole lot of research. I understand. But maybe they didn't consider some outlier. That they did an input into their analysis into their forecast. And then you guys get this type of price action right here. The market in NEO on the 29th of August. It did go down. People were selling neo on the 29th of august no doubt about it but look at where the market closed yesterday in neo you would think if the market took the earnings of neo terribly wrong the market wouldn't have closed on the high of the bar it would not have done it and the market even came to our ultimate area tp and our price prediction which was produced on august the 16th we told you all that the market was weak even before earnings came out and the market came all the way down to ultimate TP price, 19.81% right there. So again, what does this mean? What does this trade today mean in NEO? Does it mean that the market is still weak? Yeah, it's still weak because we already knew that the overall trend in NEO was down. But someone, maybe a couple of people, maybe even the analysts who missed the estimates or their forecast, they probably even came through and purchased more Neo. What do you think? That's why we only focus in on the charts because the chart actually gives us the overall dimension as to what everyone is thinking. Now, currently, the trend is broken, right? We broke the trend in Neo, so we, there's no need for us to follow that trend line. So, generally, what we're going into the market in Neo seemingly looks to be a consolidation of trading range. Now, I'm going to bring this support line here in Neo. And we don't want the market to fall below this area, but if it will, then we have to bring our support area a little bit lower to these lows. Okay. So now, can we see price go lower? Of course. We just took a momentary break, momentarily took a break in NEO there, just like it did in December of 2022, you guys can see that this is where the market bounced again. So the, presumably the buyers in December also came through and purchased in August of this year. Let's look at NEO real quick on the two day chart. I mean, I'm sorry, on the three. So this is the conclusion of the three day bar. Okay. So it looks to me like the market in NEO is mid stride within a trading channel. And usually when you get this, Either you continue to follow the same direction that price currently is on, which is down, or you just stay away. Because the market in NEO definitely is still trending to the downside as of now. I like the three day and the five day time frame. This kind of represents that the market is in a stoppage that is trying to stop from going down. It is. The three day and the five day charts represent that. We may not be finished though. We may get another touch around $10 in NEO or even all the way back down to $9.50. Something that you all need to be prepared for if you're trying to buy this particular stock. Okay. Now, looking at this on the two weekly chart, these two two weekly price bars tell them that the overall price in NEO is still weak. And not to get confused as to a small stint of seeing prices go up. Here it is on the two weekly chart. I mean, the three. And this is another indication to tell me that the price generally is still weak here too. Take a look, it's on the five. We have two days and 10 hours left. Let's pay attention in the next two days and 10 hours to see the market close down here on the low. Because if so, then our support area that we currently have around 825 
It doesn't look like that's going to hold. Here it is on the monthly chart. Same thing as the five weekly chart. It's nothing too much to explain here. Overall, I don't think the market at NEO is bullish right now. I still suspect that they may be some slight weakness to contend with. The only problem is that I think the market is definitely trying to hold the buyers. I mean, it's trying to hold the sellers up from actually lowering the market back down to 825. So let me, let me do this. I'm going to sit back and relax and let the market give us a couple more trading days in NEO to see if the sellers are actually going to have more power to continue to move the market down. That's the same forecast I need to hold on to until I get more indications that we are getting buyers into the market like we saw in yesterday. See, yesterday was just one day. I need to see more days of market buyers coming in, propping up NEO's price. One day is not enough. I need a couple more days to see the market in NEO give us that justification to say that price is ready to go up. I don't see it yet. So generally, I'm still looking for the price to trend to the downside. It's not enough to me to come in and drop a target. Like I said, maybe $10 again as 8% move to the downside. And then my other target would be around 950. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything yet. But those would be my two targets if I were to drop a price prediction into the market in Neo. All right, so go ahead and give me your thoughts. I'm finished. Hit that like button. Instead of it, also subscribe to the channel. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.